Hey Collective, let's get a message for May 1st, 2022. This is Collective Consciousness Energy. What is going on for the Collective? This is a situation read. Please God, clear, concise messages. Thank you, amen. On a three. All right, what's going on? What's the color? <laughs> okay, jumping right out. King of Cups, lots of deep feelings, probably hidden feelings here. Being in your emotions, but remember, the kings are mastery in this realm. So there, it does mean that there are choppy waters. There is definitely still waters run deep um, energy with this card. You could be dealing with an older... Uh, water sign male <clears throat> uh, or you could be that person so and we have Scorpio energy here as well <clears throat> which is sex death and rebirth this is transformational so and it's also your emotional realm so very much in the emotions here collective feeling things very deeply or s sort of developing a sense of mastery around your emotional world. All right, what are you or the other person's thoughts about the situation? You or the other person's thoughts about the situation? Uh, I wanted to mention here that there's also shared resources that features here. And as I was shuffling, as these guys jumped out, I really got a feeling of protection. And I'm not sure what that means for anybody out there, but I do know that Scorpio is a fixed sign, so there could be some sort of um, angelic protection here. Or feeling, feeling a, something about that. <laughs> Something about angelic protection, or it could even be <clears throat> ancestral, for that matter, okay? Uh, I don't really know where that's coming from. That doesn't really belong to the card. <clears throat> Excuse me, like that that isn't the meaning behind the card or anything. It's just that's what I'm getting here for the situation. Here in your thoughts about it, you or the other person, is that Eight of Cups. So here we're thinking about moving on, going through that dark night of the soul, and then we have this Venus energy, right? So we have the Divine Feminine, perhaps moving toward this, getting closer to this, feeling this, being able to level up here. Remember, this is maturation, and here in the thoughts we have more, that Cups, that the same element. Um, so you're, you're still in your feelings about this. If this is about the arts for you, this is just a general reading for anybody uh, who needs it. Um, this could be about the development of the arts and your own artistic flair and really being able to walk through that, being m maybe emotionally, like you can develop a lot of artistic endeavors and intelligence through going through your dark night of the soul here, here. And if this is just about um, a woman or a divine female in your life, or if you're the woman, or if there's someone pregnant, there could be a mother or a mother figure here. You could be the mother. Uh, it's just going through that. Someone, um, someone is thinking about this around you, you know, walking toward you, going through this um, trek, right? The Eight of Cups is that trek. It's that journey. It's got a little bit of that hermit, kind of vibe to him like he's all alone he turns his back on what wasn't serving him emotionally essentially here uh and sort of headed right toward this empress so 
and it's abundance no matter what it no matter what this represents so this is Taurus and Libra energy that could be part of your chart or the person you're dealing with <clears throat> but um the Empress is also about abundance and this could be financial and partnerships all right what are your feelings you are the other person's feelings Wow, okay, so the feelings are about a long-term commitment. This is the Ten of Pentacles here. This is about completion. It is financial completion. This is the family card. It's a legacy, wills and estates, children, grandchildren. It's very good advice in this area, or it could just be um, also investments. So this could feel like a very deep emotional investment here as well. Taurus is an earth sign so there is something that's very practical here about this as well and very pleasing pleasurable sensual etc all right and then what is the most probable outcome for this situation a lot of stability there as well there's just very deep stable emotions all right most probable outcome wow all right so this could be all about partnerships in whatever area um, for you. I don't know what your situation is here, but whatever the situation is, just really deep feelings about that. Strong feelings, probably hidden. I want to mention as well here, whenever I see the King of Cups, kind of wherever he is, I do get this vibe of drinking. So there could be someone who's drinking and in their feelings because of it here, or that's you know, that's a behind the scenes situation here, or that's how they're dealing with their emotions. But here in the most probable outcome, the four of pentacle, pentacles, uh, the high priestess now, and then the two of cups. So there's more female energy. Look, we have the moon here and we have Venus here. So there's so, like there's potential and abundance and like this overflowing beauty, right? In the thoughts. And then very, very strong feelings about it, right? Like a, a very complete and thorough uh, feeling about it. And here with the High Priestess, there's this sense of this mystery, this great mystery. This um, We are looking at, you know, I mentioned some, there's sometimes with Scorpio, there's secrets and... Um, essentially anything that's hidden right because it's you know hidden emotions or whatever so we do have that sort of secrets thing here but there's also just the unknown the hidden the um the um the intuition <laughs> right it's a highly intuitive card and it's ruled by the moon so that's where we're getting the female energy here moon rules cancer so again we have like a lot of feminine energy here and more cups, right? So the Two of Cups talks about that perfect partnership, that perfect pairing. Um, it is a soulmate card. It's a twin flame card. So, and the Four of Pentacles really looks at, you know, holding on, clinging. <laughs> so, you know, and this is water energy. So again, we have a lot of, in the beginning and the end of this, we have a lot of water energy. 
And Libra being ruled by Venus here as well is about your thoughts. So you have Taurus, which is practical, it's the sensual, it's the 3D, and then you have the added benefit with Venus, which is, you know, your whole idea, right, of beauty or, you know, arts or mother or woman or whatever. <clears throat> even if it's your own, even if this is, say, you, you are the divine feminine watching, for example, you know, this is your interpretation of it, and this brings you wholeness, and it's definitely going to improve your home or the whole point is for it to improve your home and benefit really everyone around you so this is really quite beautiful even, even if this is not about a partnership with you and someone else in any area for example i would say that this is about you know divine union with yourself here you get to maybe appreciate the masculine and feminine within yourself or or one side and then the other so that you can make room for the, or make space for the other to come in in a divine union here. But these two together, the Empress and the High Priestess showing up in the same reading is uh, very, whew, it's, there's just a lot of beauty and intuition and mystery. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. Oh my gosh. Major Arcana is at the, um, on the outside. Something could feel, wow, and there's more here. So, yeah, and then a little bit of disappointment. So, let's look at the <laughs> outside influence here. It does feel very strong. There is, there is, you know, by the time you get to the Ten of Swords here, we'll look at that. And some Five of Cups energy here. There is generally a sense of um, a loss, right, essentially. So, and let's look at why. And for some reason, this this move, you know, is just about, it is cosmic, I would say. I'm just looking at this, these three together. So we have temperance, the wheel of fortune, and the magician here together for outside influence. Honestly, just holding these together right now is kind of like, there's just a lot of energy in these cards. So we have some more fixed energy, as I mentioned with Scorpio ruled. Right, so there's some angelic energy here for sure. Uh, but this is the wheel is turning and patience, this is divine timing. There, you know, she is a literal angel. So listen, you or the other person involved, and for the purposes of today's reading, the situation will always be the king of cups. But for this situation, this is probably going to be a blessing, and something will it'll either come back around or it's going to serve your higher purpose for this to develop the way that it is. Like I said, there is a mystery and an intuition here with the most probable outcome. So you might have to, if something does feel like it's out of your hands, say emotionally here, for example, you might have to just leave something up to the universe in a way and like believe in the best or believe in the best outcomes. I think behavior right now is going to play a part. Like you can, we do have Libra with uh, justice over here. I was going to say you might have to deal with something karmic in a way. Even if I wasn't, even if I didn't see this in the internal emotions or subconscious, we'll look at that in a second. Even if I didn't see that, I would, yeah, definitely say there could be something karmic, but something coming back around and that's being manifested. So don't try to hurry something here. Uh, right, divine timing is at work and it's very important that something grows or plays out the way that it does. Blending of two worlds, we have alchemy here. Patience is indicated with temperance. This can be good luck, so I really would expect the best and because Mercury rules the magician here, I would pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to what you're bringing in because it is affecting how you feel or it can potentially affect how you feel, particularly if this is about a partnership or a romance or just some sort of, um, like a sense of balance. Yeah, and it's funny, I, I would say here as well, like I would not tempt fate or something like that. Uh, I don't normally see these cards together either, but that's just really interesting. So, all right, let's um, internal energy or subconscious here. Collective, we have justice, the moon, and the ten of swords. Okay, so the ten of swords is a really harsh ending. 
This is tough. That's the overkill card. Dead and gone. That's game over, right? That's video game land. That is game over. So, yeah, justice. Ooh. And then the moon in the center. So this is more uh, water energy. Very strong energy. We're dealing with some more major arcanas here with uh, justice and the moon. Um, so this could feel... And even though I don't see the tower necessarily, the seven, uh, sorry, the ten of swords, um, in a way, especially here in this reading, can really give a vibe of the tower. Like something is just over. It's just not, um, but it's like a karmic situation, so it can be very good, but it could have to do with your darkest fears, your deepest fears. This is also, this can be a paranoid card. There could be some... Mm -hmm. it's it's almost like a, and I would say even here as well like be careful what you wish for don't tap fate this type of thing because uh, something is already over something has been solved there's already this could just be you being collective energy having to emotionally deal with say the fallout of something so yeah something is a total ending we have another 10 here so we're dealing with a couple of completions so, but it, in a positive way, it can mean that something, a karmic cycle is turning or has turned or is now over and the death of something, right, uh, in the transformation, okay, of something. But it is, is going to play a part of your subconscious itself here being ruled by the moon, the intuition, and the moon and the high priest is showing up in the same reading is very, very powerful as well. So you could feel, you could feel like a psychic connection is either severed here, or if there was one, you might have to, you might have to wait for a new one or reinvent something here. But again, I wouldn't force anything. Try to stay in this heart space, I would say as well, like this deep emotional completion, like feeling strong mastering your emotions over having you know already everything you need um and being able to find it if you don't have say that other half or that what you feel is lacking or what you think may be lacking here rather if you don't feel that you know on some level you can provide that to yourself but that you keep that space open for the other right because um, you don't want to fill both roles. You just want to be aware of what they are so you can draw the right person in or the situation in or experience or whatever that is for you. <clears throat> With the moon, there is a sense of confusion here as well. And these are both water sign or water energy, the moon and the king of cups. So around the situation, it's just... Um, Honestly, there could be like a sense of a madman feel and, you know, uh, yeah, this is just, it's rough energy here for sure internally. So just, you know, self-care could be important today. Uh, here with the overall energy for today's reading, all right, collective is the page of wands and the five of cups so here's where we're seeing we see the eight of cups walk away you know dark night of the soul finding what exactly makes you happy but heading toward this empress and then this looking out this loyalty this uh message of hope here and then that five of cups sort of looking at him and i consider the five of cups to be a little bit uh you know it's disappointment obviously it's loss in the emotional realm this is something that is going to feel thwarted. Something, uh, you know, if you hold on to sand too tight, right, uh, it's going to slip through your fingers. It's just sort of, you could need to let something go here or just wait for another opportunity. But taking the path less traveled, I would say here in your emotional world, particularly if it does feel or could feel, or you might be aware of it feeling overwhelming and it could affect your long term, right? What you consider close to your heart to be, you know, a complete family, for example, you may need to, and there's the sun under him. Yeah. So 
just, uh, you know, this karmic cycle is, op is over. And for something, something else needs to come in. That's really all I'm getting here, guys. So, yeah, just trying to make peace with that somehow. And um, use your intuition here as well. Utilize your intuition as opposed to, say, overthinking. If there is something emotionally that you're going through or something like that, you know, try to intuit things, gut feelings, you know, your, your sensibilities, trust your instincts here, and, you know, even ancestral energy. Uh, draw upon energy that you trust. Try not to feel emotionally overwhelmed here, even if something is over or feels like it's collapsed. Because better things that look really strongly here are coming in. So that is everything I'm getting. I'm going to leave it there, everybody. I love doing these readings for you guys. And I hope it was helpful to someone out there. Until next time, bye for now.